Yes, Chloe? We have an amazing story today to watch. It's about a bush that sets on fire. Ooh, that sounds very exciting. That sounds a bit like me. Bernard, how is that anything like you? I have laser eyes. Laser eyes? Laser eyes. I can set plants on fire with my special laser eyes. Look, watch. Bernard, Bernard, I don't think you can. And even if you could, it's not a good idea. Fire is very dangerous. Oh. I know. Instead, why don't we watch the story now? One day, Moses was looking after his father-in-law's sheep, and he took them to a mountain called the Mountain of God. There he noticed a burning bush, but strangely the bush did not burn down. Moses was curious and wanted to examine the bush further. There came a voice out of the bush. Moses, Moses. Here I am, said Moses. I am your God and the God of your forefathers. I have chosen you to go to Egypt and to free the Israelites from Egyptian slavery. You must go to Pharaoh and ask him to set the Israelites free. Moses was afraid and confused. But why me? Who am I that you should send me? Don't be afraid. I will help you and be with you always. But Moses was still unsure. But what if the Israelites don't believe that you sent me? Then the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? A staff. Moses replied. Throw it on the ground. Moses did and the staff became a snake. Then God told him to reach out for the snake and to hold it by the tail. And when he did, the snake turned back into a staff. This was a miraculous sign that Moses could perform in case the Israelites didn't believe him. God gave Moses two more miracles just in case. The second miracle involved Moses' hand becoming leprous and then healing up again. And the third miracle involved water from the Nile turning into blood. But Moses was still unsure whether he would be brave enough to go to Egypt and free the Israelites and he asked, Lord, I'm not very really good at speaking. Please, can you send someone else to do it? But the Lord insisted it should be Moses. However, God decided to give Moses a helper. Moses' brother Aaron was very good at speaking. So the two of them were going to work together. Hello. I wonder, do you ever have that feeling that you might have missed something? Like when you set off for school and you realise, oh, I forgot to put my lunchbox in my bag. Or even worse, oh, I haven't even got my bag at all. Well, Moses really felt, I am missing something. He was very concerned that he didn't have what he was going to need. Let's go back to the story. I wonder how you'd feel if you were like Moses. Moses the shepherd up on the hill in the desert and there is this bush burning bright without stopping. And in that bush he hears God's voice. Wow. And then as Moses talks to God, his staff turns into a snake and his hand becomes all leprous and happily gets healed. Well, God was preparing Moses for a very big task indeed. God was preparing Moses to set his people free. Today we'd call that racial justice. Moses knew it's just not fair that God's people, the Israelites, are kept in such an awful situation. And God wanted Moses to do something about it. So God called Moses, just like he calls each one of us, to love our neighbours, to share what Jesus is like, to share love with the people around us. So I was wondering... If God's calling me to do something, I wonder what might God be equipping me with? So I had a look around. Look what I've got. Well, I've got a staff. Happily, it doesn't turn into a snake. I think that's probably a good thing. I love snakes, but I don't really want a staff that turns into a snake. Let's see what else I've got. Ah, very nice. 
I've got some chocolates. I'm going to send these chocolates to somebody who might be feeling a bit lonely and miserable at this time. What else have I got? Look, I have got a lovely greetings card. I could send that to my sponsored child in Cambodia. Anything else? Aha! You see what this is? This is seeds. Beautiful snapdragon flowers. And next year, these are going to be brilliant for pollinators, for hoverflies, butterflies, bees in my garden. They're going to be so good. And they'll look really pretty as well. Anything else? No. Look here, some very good tins of fish. I think I'm going to take those to the food bank for somebody who needs them this week. And, uh huh, last but not least, Bible. Very important, helps me to know how to pray for people, how to pray what God wants me to do. So that's five things I've just found that God is equipping me with to share his love this week. If you look around, what are you going to find? What have you got that you could be using to share Jesus' love this week? What do you think he wants you to do? When you've had a thought about that, tell the people that you're with or even drop a comment into the comments box here. And now I think it's time for us to pray. So, one, two, three. Jesus, thank you that you call every one of us to good tasks for you, even they're not as big, as scary as the task that you gave Moses, that you've got a task for each one of us. And thank you, Jesus, that you equip every one of us with what we need to do what you want us to do. Help us to look around to see what we can do to share your love and what you are equipping us with. Amen. Now, what else do you think I've got around here that I could use? I am a city on a hill. I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world.
I love that song that talks about being on a city on a hill, uh, shining God's light. And we thought about that in the All Age service last week. Now, in Ian's talk, we thought about what equipment we have. As heroes, we need equipment. And sometimes that's the gifts and skills that we have inside us. And sometimes that's the tools that we have around us. And in the Bible reading, we hear that God said to Moses, what is in your hands? So we're just going to ask God that now. Hold out your hands like this. Just ask God what equipment he has already given you that you've got around you or within you that you could use to serve him, to shine his light and to share his love with others. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you equip us with many things, with the gifts and skills you've given us, but also with tools that help us to share your light and your love with those around us. Help us in this really difficult time to think how we could do that. Would you be speaking to us today about what equipment you have already given us? Amen. Now Moses went on to rescue his people. He went on to stand up for people who couldn't stand up for themselves. And we're going to be thinking about that next week too. But today is Remembrance Sunday. And Remembrance Sunday is about remembering those that fought to protect us in the war. And particularly those who died. So we're just going to spend a few seconds now just pausing and thanking God for those people. It's time for our craft video and Jess has been putting this video together. I hope you enjoy it. Hello and welcome to today's craft. Today we're going to be making Moses in the Burning Bush 3D. For this you'll need scissors and glue. Be careful of the scissors because they are sharp. You'll also want the template for today's craft. And I've also got some tissue paper, green for the tree and some red and orange for the flames. And then any other decorations you can find. So I've got some red gems and also some coloured pens. So let's get started. So start by decorating your tree with anything you can find in your house. I'm using a brown pen to colour in the trunk of the tree, but you could use any colours or patterns you want. You could also use watercolour, paints or any other creative way to decorate your tree. Make sure you don't colour in the middle though, as we will be cutting this out later. I've also coloured in the title at the top and now I'm colouring in the grass. Again, you can decorate these any way you want. Now get the other template and decorate this one. I've used pens to colour Moses, but you could use anything you want. Next, cut or tear your green tissue paper into smaller pieces. Scrunch them up and stick them to your tree. I found it easier to put the glue on the tree and then the tissue paper on top. Now cut out both templates. So we also need to cut the bit out in the middle of the tree too. So what I'm going to do is fold it in half, being careful of the tissue paper. And then I'm going to use this outline and cut around here. This is a bit fiddly. You might want a grown up to help you. Now it should look a bit like this. Turn the craft over and put glue around the edge of the section you have just cut out. Stick your flame coloured tissue paper to cover up the hole. You could use several colours or just one. In the light, this is going to look really cool. 
fold along the fold lines of both templates like this. Make sure these are really firm as this is how it's going to stand up. Now glue both templates together. Put some glue on this part of the fold and line up the fold lines. It may hang over the edge a bit, but you could always trim this off. Repeat on both sides like this. Stick it down really firm. And so we're done. Here's the finished product and you can stand it up anywhere in your house and every time you look at it you'll be reminded of the story of Moses and the burning bush. Hope you enjoy making it. Bye! That fire was amazing! It must have been special fire because the bush didn't even burn up! Yes, it was God's way of talking to Moses. Talking to God is great. We call it prayer. Oh, oh, well, Chloe, let me tell you how I like to pray. I like to pray standing on my head! Um, why? I don't know. It helps me see things in a whole new way. Right. I also like to pray when I walk to places! That's a very good time to pray. Well, I like to pray by painting things. How does that work? You see, sometimes I paint things I'm thankful for, and at other times I just paint and talk to God as I do it. I do it when I draw and colour in too. That sounds like fun! And speaking of fun, Chloe, would you like to hear an amazing joke? Go on then. What superhero uses public transportation? I don't know. What superhero uses public transportation? Bus Lightyear! Bus Lightyear! Ha, get it, get it. You know, sounds like Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Ha. Uh, yes, thank you, Bernard. Uh, very funny. Well, glad you thought so. Well, Goodbye everyone, see you next week! Goodbye! Bye!